When I do work with uh, individuals, the one thing I don't hear very often is people say, I want to be happy. Usually people, when they come into therapy, will say, I don't want to suffer. I don't want to feel whatever it is I'm feeling now. I just want to be content. Uh, I think that's great. I think when we can get to a point where people feel content, that can be used as a springboard for more positive feelings, um, happiness being chief among them. So how do we increase happiness? Happiness comes from systems functioning properly, okay? As individuals, we are part of bigger systems, uh, the universe probably being the biggest system that we're all a part of. But these systems can have dysfunction. And um, one of the sayings is we recreate the past to repair it. We start therapy with this idea that you can get to a point that you will not need therapy anymore and, and what would that look like for you? And then we can go backwards, kind of Tarantino this thing and say, how are we gonna get there? Um, so the work is done we say when you know as the client that you're not going to pass on whatever uh, dysfunction or trauma you may have inherited transgenerationally and when you know that you're not going to pass down your stuff is when the work is done so we want to help individuals become fully functioning so that they can lead happy lives uh, and the difference between li living a truly happy life versus a life seeking pleasure is in helping other people because the more that we help other people live happy lives, the more they can go out and help other people live happy lives. So it's the opposite being handed down transgenerationally. Happiness, helping, compassion. Have a good week.